And if you don't know what's going on in people's marriage and in people's business, just pray. Leave it alone. Sister, no, nobody make you feel bad. Because your marriage no work or it not work. Not because he turned drunkard. Somebody just step out of the wheel. I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking to the person next to you. So he who began on Sunday night and told us to find God's will, he comes again to tell us to finish in God's will. Everybody, will you open your heart and receive God's servant, Evangelist Reverend Philbert Wynn, Deliverance Lifeline Church of God in Brownstown, St. Anne, preaches across the world and continue to lift up Jesus Christ. Please make him welcome in Jesus' name. Well, go ahead and give God a mighty praise. God is good. God is good. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Lift up the voice. Give God, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is worthy of our praise. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We glorify you. We thank you because of who you are. We thank you for this glorious week when you have been speaking to us. Now tonight, God, I ask you to speak through me to the people around that are viewing wherever they are. Lord, I ask the anointing upon your servant I don't want preaching to be easy. I want preaching to be anointed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you in Santa be seated. I greet you. I greet the man of God and his wife. This great shepherd of this great work. God is indeed blessing him, his family, and his ministry across the world. Wherever you are, put your hands together for this man of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus. I am happy and glad to be a part of this convention gathering virtually. And whatever way we gather, to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Writer of the song. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. A great theme this year. That God has given to the body of Christ. Not just for PFM family. But I believe it is to the body of Christ. Time to walk in the will of God. And God has sent some tremendous word this week. And so tonight, the final night, let's hear what God will say to us. The theme verse, the main verse, the mother verse, as our bishop said, Matthew 26. I read 39 to 42. He went a little further, fell on his face, and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. He cometh unto the disciples and find them asleep and said to Peter what could you not watch with me one hour watch and pray that he enter not into temptation the spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak he went again he went again the second time and prayed saying oh my father if this cup 
may not pass away from me except I drink it. Thy will be done. Tonight, our final sub-theme, finish in God's will. I go to John chapter 19 and verse 30. A great declaration up in the face of the devil. John 19.30 When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. What a slap to the devil's face. It is finished. He bowed his head. Take note, take note, take note. And gave up the ghost. Hey, nobody take it from him. Uh, ain't nobody tell, nobody could nobody kill him. He gave up. That's the only person in history that we record of death that he gave up the ghost. Finish in God's will. It is the will, it was the will, and still is. It was the will of God to send his son into this world. He came to do the will of his father. Jesus said unto them, John 4, 34, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. There is something about the will of God that when the will of God is upon your life, you don't just start, but you carry through to the end. And I love the encouragement of the Bible. The Bible said, he who had begun a good work, ah, glory to God forevermore. Once you start, if you start with God, God will carry you through to the end, to the end, to the end. I want somebody watching tonight, right where you are watching, just begin to confess. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. It might look discouraged now, and it might look like you're going to turn or you're going to throw in the towel, but just let the word come out of your mouth. I'm going to finish. I don't sit to my but I'm going to finish I don't know what the world look like but I'm going to finish that's all I want the devil to hear I'm going to finish the songwriter say I'm going all all the way all the way I'm going to finish I'm going to finish Sunday night I make reference to the fact that when he prayed it was two personalities and you you know Jesus he was man and he was God and hear somebody talk about it it was the fact that there are times when you reach in God's will the temptation not to finish is when humanity said sin so you got to have divinity to encourage humanity that you're going to finish take my time here because I, I feel this one of the things that I find myself doing is that when I'm invited to speak at conventions and I, I spend time in prayer over the theme and I tell anybody everywhere I go this ain't for PFM alone Brownstone got to get this I get it before I preach it if I don't get it I'm not going to preach it so I know what God's telling me I got to finish I'm facing some situations in brownstone right now that makes me want to throw in the towel if I follow how I feel but I got to tell Philbert you're going to finish you got to understand if you're going to finish it's not going to be easy uh, nobody, nobody told me that the road would be easy the devil wants you to quit he wanted to stop. He wanted to say, I can't do 
this no more. He wants you to write a resignation letter and send it to your bishop and come in up the choir. He wants you to write the letter and said, I ain't going to deacon no more. But no matter what comes, you need to let the devil know I'm in the will of God and I'm going to finish. If, 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 if you're going to finish, you can't follow how you feel. I know we have some good nice Christians watching us tonight uh, and you always feel good God bless you but there are those of us uh, who always never feel it come on I ain't feel like going to church I ain't feel like preaching I don't feel especially some of y'all not gonna say amen now but especially the same persons uh, who you're preaching to and praying for those the same hypocrite uh, that is but you got to tell yourself you didn't call me into this and I'm going to finish you got to finish <laughs> uh, 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 he, was, he was in the father's will everything watch this everything he does everywhere he went everything he says it's always about his father uh, come with me now come with me now see he went he went with his parent to do census where he come from can I put myself in there tonight? I leave St. Anne and I went over to St. Thomas to do census with my parent. And when census was over, we were going back as a family to St. Anne. But when they come into Kingston, they look around and say, where, where, where is Jesus? Where, where, where is Philbert at? And they couldn't find, so they went back a day's journey to where they were. And they find this little 12 year old. He was talking to doctors he was talking to lawyers he was talking to some frustrated businessmen he was talking to some frustrated philosophers and when his parents said Jesus what have you done we've been searching for you he listened to Mary and he was very quiet I love Jesus he didn't work up a sweat but he said woman why are you looking for me don't you know King James have some terminologies uh, King James said wist it not that I must be about my father's business come out to King James y'all y'all watching my television tonight uh, Jesus said why, why you worry about me I'm not here about you uh, I'm here about my father's business I'm here about the will of God he was in the will I'm tempted to say this tonight that when you're in the will of God certain time you can't be in certain crowd when you're in the will of God certain times something people are gonna look for you and them can't find you can I preach to the world tonight I said when you're in the will of God some people want you but they can't find you I, I, I have no time to be in your criticizing company come on somebody what you want me to do and what you expect of me <laughs> the will of God says not your company at this time of the will of God on your life I don't malice you I just can't be with you and that's okay that's okay that's okay Facebook that's okay come on YouTube that's okay they're going to say you, you're going like you're better than them come on. they're going to say you reach they're going to remember when she used to talk to me now but all of a sudden oh that's all right that's all right I wish you could see that the will of God said I got to be about my father's business So, 
so so he come in the will and watch this for him to finish he got to continue in the will wait a minute I got to say this tonight I got to say this tonight I've heard some folk saying some stuff I got some people come to me with marital problems and I heard some people said, well, because they end up in divorce, it wasn't God's will from the first place. Doesn't have to be. And if you don't know what's going on in people's marriage and in people's business, just pray. Leave it alone. You can't, oh, y'all quiet now. You can't just jump in people's lives and say, I know it wasn't going to work. It wasn't God's will anyway. It was God's will. Somebody just didn't continue in. Sister, no, nobody make her feel bad because your marriage no work or in our work and talk about how you're married to the wrong man. Oh, I'm not saying some people, some people really married to them. I ain't preaching about that. I'm just, I'm just saying, not because he turned drunkard and abusive and not because she becomes an, it doesn't mean it wasn't God's will. Somebody just messed up. Somebody just stepped out of the will. So if you're going to finish, you got to continue. I said this on Sunday night. The steps of the good man, they are ordered by the Lord. And when you continue in the will, sometimes you want to go to some place. But the will of God said, no. You want to go in a certain car, but the will of God said, no. You, you, you want to embark on a business proposition with a friend. You even reach the bank and you make the $50,000 withdrawal. But then the Holy Ghost said, Jesus, continue. Can I go back to the book, y'all? Let's go to the book again tonight. John 6, 38 to 40. Read, brother preacher. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Those of you watching tonight, the reason why you're giving so much trouble in church, you come in church and want to do your own thing. Nobody can talk to you. The pastor alone thinking I hear from God. I'm, I'm not talking to you, I'm just talking to the person next to you. For the past two years or so, I've never seen so much profit raise up in the body of Christ. But I have a little word that I tell them in Brownstone and some of you watching tonight. Anytime you come to this pastor and say, God say, me not trouble you. If God tell you yes, who am I to say no? One sister literally leave the church and we never seen her and some of the missionaries went to her and she said, me, I'm telling her the truth. Pastor Phil, now I hear from God. And I said to the members, nobody kill up yourself. Go to somebody where I hear from God. And they want to go with pan and knock. A man put pan in a, put kerchief in a, in a tea and pan and bird fly out. <laughs> but I thank God for the foundation that some of us have grow, grow, grow where you're planted grow where you're planted grow Jesus, Jesus, Jesus stay, stay with the book Pastor Phil I came down from heaven I didn't come to do my own thing some of you from Brownstone watching tonight. 
Anytime I feel like I'm doing my own thing in Brownstone, we pack up. I come, I, I did not come here to do my own thing, but the will of him that sent me. Now I got to throw this at you tonight. You can't be a part of a ministry wanting to continue in his will, but refuse to obey your pastor. I know you're going to get upset with me tonight, but sit right there. You can't, don't even. Anytime you think you are hearing from God more than your pastor. If I were in Brownstone, I would have said Galang, but I'm in a better church. Go on. And this is the will of the Father which hath sent me that, that of all which I, he, what all which he has given me, I should lose nothing. You got to understand there are those of us who have the call of God on our lives and we have a passion to do what the will of God is instructing us to do. We can't afford to lose anything because we have to give account to God. And I want to talk to a pastor that is watching tonight. Because pastor, you are having a problem with one of your deacons. This is prophetic. I am not a prophet. But everything that you are set out to do, there is this deacon in your church that add up the I don't believe it committee. Everything the pastor, yes, pastor, you're watching tonight. This is for you. Everything that the pastor would have mentioned to his board or his people that God wants him to do, there is this one deacon. Always get up on top, but I don't believe it. And I don't think it can work. Listen to me, pastor. You are watching tonight. God will have you to watch us to understand in the will of God that you are continuing. And if you're going to fail, if you're going to finish, not everybody can go where God is taking you. Jesus said, all which he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me. Come now, come now. That everyone that seeth the Son and believe on him, may have come on everlasting life and I will and I will raise him up on the last day all right let me hurry on tonight to get to where I want to preach from day one Joseph if you can't find Wherever you got to find Joseph, I got to, I got to put this. From day one, it was his will to be born in a place of humility. Come on, Phil. So from day one to where our text is, he continue in the will. The challenge now. The challenge. And I heard this only last night. As I, as I prepare to come back on tonight. The challenge is now. He continue in the will. But when he reached Gethsemane. 
The devil challenge the finishing portion. If I understand a little about the race and the relay, there are two persons in the relay that is of great importance. The starter and the finisher. I wonder why I get those two legs. <laughs> they're going to put, they're going to put you saying bold, either to start it or to finish it. Because the other rest know that the finishing man, the finishing leg, it's what depend on the gold medal. So the devil says, you run so good, so far, but I can't let you finish anything I can do I got to stop you from finish that's why humanity cry if it be possible let the cup get another plan find a plan B but divinity says you have to finish you're gonna finish and divinity says not my will but thy will be done good God almighty when he came out from God and Judas came when he came out from God the other team the other team I didn't say the other teams just the other team having heard the statement from divinity the other team step it up the other team say we have to use one of his own men you don't know the type of fight that you're getting it's because the devil don't want you to finish but tell yourself I said it when I start tonight tell yourself I'm going to finish so come devil come with your betrayal come devil come with your betrayer come with your denier because anybody betray me I'm going to finish if they deny me I'm going to finish if they tip off somebody and pay them a big money because they want the promotion that was due to me I'm still going to finish somebody holler in your bedroom tonight I'm going to finish Judas or not Judas I'm going to finish Peter or not Peter I'm going to finish I'm going to finish I'm going to finish Judas Judas to Peter to Pilate to Herod back to Pilate the series of challenge in order for you not to finish Bishop the amount of things that God has given me in this text but when that prayer was prayed divinity strengthened humanity to finish the process he wasn't worried about the nail anymore he wasn't worried about the crown of thorn anymore he wasn't worried about a spear in his side anymore when you decide to finish you ain't gonna worry what people do about you you're gonna worry you're not gonna worry about what they say about you you're not even gonna worry about what you're going through
You see this thing in church that we have called testimony? You know how many of you give your testimony? And when they give you, you give them the testimony, some people sit down in church with them high, wide woman. Because the you that lead the worship or the devotion or, or moderate, the you that sit in the congregation and worship like that, me not think that she got you all away, she said. <laughs> but because <laughs> I got a made up mind, divinity already strengthened me that I got to finish I got some criticism but I'm going on I got some deniers but I'm going on still some people that we worship together and pray together all of a sudden she says she don't know me Y'all, I was just reading something the other day or listening to, and somebody was challenging the words of a song that we sang that says, 80 and two miles from Pilate Hall to Calvary. And somebody said, even if Jesus could walk 82 miles, the crowd couldn't follow him. Because really the correct words for that song says, aided on two miles. He was helped on two miles. He was two miles from Pilate to home. You've been there, don't you? Did you walk 82 miles? <laughs> Y'all watching me tonight? Y'all need to stop singing 82 miles. No, he's aided. He was helped. His body was weak and to carry this thing. Humanity was weak. Given a cross that heavy. And that's why God pro provided somebody to aid him. And if Jesus have to be aided to finish, what say you and I? That's why God put some people around you. Some people around you to aid you. Because those around you is supporting you to finish so now uh, mm -hmm, when they take him up to the cross they nail him to the cross he said I thirst they gave him vinegar I believe that there was a rejoicing in hell hell says yes no in can finish he will never finish oh hallelujah but the Bible says when he asked he said I thirst he said I thirst yet he made the river he said I thirst but 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 he made the sea he said I thirst said the king of the ages but 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 in his great thirst he said he said Philbert he said Neil he said listen to me I know if you're going to be finishing you're going to be thirsty the reason why I said I thirst that when you thirst I've already made provision that you, 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 you fill up your thirsty self and go on to the finish can I teach you something tonight the Bible says after all of that the seven saints that was on the cross after all of that the Bible says the final thing the final thing he said and Greek scholars give us a terminology right here for those of you who are interested there's a Greek word called tetelesta or or better English pronunciation tonight it says tetelesta whatever way you want to pronounce it but but watch this in new testament greek they observe the receipt 
are often introduced in the phrase tetelestai, it is usually written in an abbreviated manner, watch this, indicating, watch this, the word tetelestai that he used, it says the bill has been paid in full. Tetelestai, it simply means you want me to stop, but I didn't stop until I finish. The bill is paid. The obligation has been completed. Paid in full. Because he finished in his will. You stand in church. And you now sing Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin has left the crimson stain. He washed. Jesus finish in God's will. It is finish. Finish in the will of God. Let me take two minutes to tell you. When he bowed his head, gave up the ghost, the devil start a party in hell. I don't want to call the names of the DJs that were there. And I don't want to call the names tonight of the different sound were string up down there. But there was a string up that go on down there. And whichever which DJ had the mic, all of a sudden, the gate man we are collect at the gate. So boss, if you don't have an armband, you have to pay. Go on to your ticket. The gate man heard. Lift up your heads. Oh, he gates. See, understand that when he said it is finished, it was finished, but it wasn't over. No, 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 no. Y'all not getting this tonight. It is finished, but it, it wasn't over. It is finished out here, but I got to go down there to finish my final conquering. Lift up your heads, O oh, ye gates, and be he lifted up, the everlasting door, and the king of glory come in one of the demons I mean the gate man said who is the king of glory the response of the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle somebody shout in your living room tonight lift up your hands all he gates and be lifted up And right here, right here is where he finished. When he went to hell, he got to the devil. And he grabbed the devil up in him throat, drape him up, take away the key. He said, you got a young man named Philbert locked up. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. You got some people in Portmore locked up. Give me the keys. You got some people in New York locked up. Give me the keys. You got some people locked up. Revelation says at the finished work, he come back on the third day because no grave could hold his body down. When him come up, he make a declaration that I want to throw at you tonight. I am he that liveth and was. You tell me who else ever used that term, was dead. You tell me who else borrow a tomb. 
There's a businessman I know in St. Catherine somewhere. There is something that runs in the Thorpe family. They make extra preparation for their dead. So Mr. Tharp put an insurance policy in place for his wife and his ten children. Um, um, not only did he do that, but he had several tombs pre bill A young man come from St. Anne, look at Mr. Tharp and says, I am going to die. And I heard that you have two put on. I want one to borrow. I feel good right here. If I ever do that to him, he may have a call, Bellevue. Says, I have a young man in here. Or better yet, him know me and say, Bishop, we have to say a prayer for evangelist win because him come. Say, he wants something for borrow. Never borrow a thousand dollars. He wants a tomb for borrow. Something right with him. But Joseph lent Jesus the tomb. And when it was finished, Bishop, Joseph get back him tomb in a good condition. Because when Peter go in there, the grave cloth was folded me. I am he that liveth and was dead. Jesus finished in God's will. I promise you tonight two more scriptures and I close praying for you tonight. Watch this. Jesus finished in his father's will. He is expecting us to finish not just to find his will not just to follow his will not just to be faithful to his will we will not fight against his will although we will be flourishing in his will but God also wants us that we finish in his will I make reference to two passages of scripture and I pray with you. Acts 13 verse 36 Paul made mention of David who finished in God's will. Here's what the Bible says. For David after he had served his own generation by the will of God fell on sleep and laid with his fathers. David finish in his will. I did tell you two scriptures. The final one. It is said that Paul get more commendation from preaching than any other Bible characters. Because there's a lot of scriptures that we give to Paul even when it's not him. But I'm certain the one I'm about to tell you is what he encouraged Timothy. In 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 6 to 8, Paul finished in God's will. Watch this. For I am now ready. <laughs> Only a man who finish can talk like that then. I shared this quick experience with you in November. Jackie's father died right in our hands at home. And that Saturday morning, Papa woke up and came, went to the bathroom, and Jackie made his cup of tea and the fruits on his table. He normally walked to the door and then back to the table. He walked to the door that morning. And Jackie says she could not understand why Papa was gazing in the sky. 83 years old, retired New Testament pastor. And Papa, Jackie said, Papa, are you okay? Say, yeah, Jilly, that's what pet name for my wife. I was now driving in from the market. Papa held on to the door. And Jackie screamed because Papa 
went right down. By the time I drove in, Papa was now on his back. And Jackie was screaming. I ran in. And I said, Papa, Papa. Papa made three groans. And I began to pray. Jackie's little brother drove in at the same time. And we both lift Papa. Put him in the, on the bed. Nurse, church sister down the road, we call her. She was coming. I start to pray. Nurse drove in and she began to examine Papa all over. Blood pressure, vitals, everything was all right. And Papa was praying with me. Hallelujah. The nurse says, we got to take him down. And Papa's son and I lift Papa from the bed to the van. It was different. Just before he get to the van, I said, you're going to be all right, Papa. The last word my father-in-law said was, amen. When we get to the hospital, go to the a &E, they take Papa out. I went to park the van, came back, Jackie was screaming. They we take her out, she was outside. I went in back and I said to the doctor, can I look at Papa? Went and put my hand in Papa's stomach. I said, Papa, yeah, I know you're ready. And that's it. When a man say, I am now ready. <laughs> it is finished. Paul says, I am now ready to be offered up. The time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. Stand up on your feet with me, those of you in here, those of you watching tonight. Uh, get ready for a praise. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course henceforth. I have kept the faith henceforth. There is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at the time at that day and not to me only not to me only but to all those who will finish all those who love is appearing those of you watching tonight Lift your hands wherever you are. I don't know what you're going through. But the scripture says, in everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You that watching tonight, I want to pray for you because you're tempted to give up. You're tempted to throw in the towel. Listen to me, pastor. Listen to me, missionary. Listen to me, evangelist. Listen to me, doctor, bishop. It's no time to quit now. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I declare over you tonight, you must finish by the grace of God you will finish father in the name of Jesus thank you right now for everyone that here and viewed tonight and after tonight those who are facing a situation that is tempting to give up tempting to throw in the towel tempting to say this is it I pray you're finished tonight. I pray that divinity will strengthen you to go on until God says so. I pray your strength. I pray for you, Bishop Dr. Davis, and your wife, Missionary Dr. Petrova, all the leaders, all the officers, of, and the members of BFM Family International.
bishop the churches that you have and the churches that you are going to have nobody in PFM and those watching tonight you will not give up give it to Jesus but don't give up give it to Jesus but don't give up I declare over you by the power of the Holy Ghost that you will finish in Jesus mighty name Amen. Clap your hands. Celebrate the Lord.